Okay, so to test out the automation, I'm just going to put my hand over the sensor. When the light level drops drops below 375 lux, my door is going to close, my curtains are going to close, and my lights are going to turn on. So let's see what happens. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on this Tuya Smart Light Sensor. This is a Zigbee version, but there is also a Wi-Fi version available as well. And you can actually also get them in different sizes as well. So let's start by opening up the box and see what we've got. So it's obviously a power cord, which is micro USB. This is the uh, pin for the reset button on the bottom there, goes into there. User manual, which is basically just covering how to set it up. That's all that does, okay. And the actual sensor itself. Let's have a closer look. We've got the micro USB charging port there. Right, my guess is that this does not have an internal battery at all and it's going to be powered up by USB all the time. So let's open this up first just to double check that. Just going to open it up guys and see if there is, a, is an internal battery inside this, which I don't think there's going to be, so. And it's not looking, it's not looking hopeful. It looks like it is permanently powered off USB. Take this circuit board out, have a look. Yeah, it's just a Zigbee module. So it does not have an internal battery guys, you've got to, it's got to be powered off USB at all times. So I just wanted to double check that, so we'll put that back together. Obviously remember this is the Zigbee version, so to get this to work you're going to need to have a, a gateway as well. Or you're not going to be able to use it. You can obviously of course buy the Wi-Fi version, which you don't need the gateway for. Because it's USB powered all the time, it doesn't really matter which one you get. But I like the Zigbee one, so I'm going to stick with that one. Okay, looking in the instructions, it says that it has an illumination range of 0 to 1000 lux. And they tell you to just download the Smart Life app, but I'm just going to be using the Tuya app because I use the Tuya app for everything, so... This smart light sensor cost me uh, $34, including shipping. Um, I did actually get another one as well. Um, that's obviously the Zigbee one. The other one I got was a Wi-Fi one, but it's a lot bigger as well. As you can see, side by side. It's over double the size. This one, the Wi-Fi one, does run on batteries. Um, I'll open that up. Just runs on three AAA batteries and connects to the Wi-Fi network. And this one cost me thirty-eight dollars, including shipping. So there's not like a lot of a lot of difference in price between the two. But this one, obviously, you don't need to run on uh, you don't need to run off USB at all. It can just run off the batteries by itself. I haven't really played with this this one much at all yet. Um, but I'm going to be using this one first and I'm going to be creating like a lot of nighttime automations for it So it can close like the curtains and door and stuff like that at night when it gets when it gets uh, dark Okay, first thing we need to do is Connect this device to the app so power it up into the USB 
like so. And uh, that screen's quite glary. Maybe I should just close the curtain so you guys can see the screen better. Uh, Alexa, close curtains. Okay. That's better. Much better. Okay. Now let's add it to the app. So this is just the two year app as I said before. Add device. Come down to oops sensors. And go to where is it? Brightness sensor. This is a Zigbee version, so Luminous sensor Zigbee, select gateway, multi mode gateway. It is blinking fast, so we can confirm that now. And it's found it. Now, because I'm going to be using this for automation automations at night time, I'm just going to call it my night sensor. We'll just change that name. Night. Sensor. It'll be located upstairs. Done. And done. Okay. Okay, now we can see the light level displayed here. So as we put our hand over the sensor, it should decrease. As it did. Take it off. Put it up higher. Lower. Lower. And right on. So that's working great. Let's just have a quick look in the app. So obviously you've got the record history. Click on settings. When you find me, I can flash the light. Hmm, that's cool. We will try that out later on. And we go into the smart, yeah, and that's where you can set up the automation. Okay. All right, so next, yeah, next stage is to set up an automation. So let's do that now. Okay, guys, I'm going to set up an automation the night sensor now and we're going to make it what are we going to do we're going to okay we'll make it close the door the smart door when it gets dark of course close the smart door And we're going to make it close the curtains. Close them. Next. And one more thing. Uh, we'll make it turn my lights on. Using the dimmer switch. Um, so turn them on. Save. Next. Yep, leave it at that. Save that. Um, we'll call it um, night routine. Night. Routine. Confirm. Start using the automation. Yes. And we're done. Okay. Now let's test it out. Okay, guys. I've actually caused a bit of a problem by mounting that sensor on the wall. It's um, the light level has changed a lot, so I'm going to have to change that in the automation first. So as you can see, me just moving my hand around <laughs> is changing it. So we'll make it if it's so it's three three three. So yeah, okay. Go back to the. Automation 
and change it there. Right, so when it's less than, we'll say when it's less than 375. 37, whoops. 375. Next. Save. Okay. Right. Okay, now we can test it. Okay, so to test out the automation, I'm just going to put my hand over the sensor. When the light level drops be drops below 375 lux, my door is going to close, my curtains are going to close, and my lights are going to turn on. So let's see what happens. Okay guys, that last automation worked great. These light sensors, as you can see, are a great little device to have in your smart home. You can do a lot of cool things with them. And in saying that, I've just had a brainwave. Because these, because the light level decreases as you get closer to the sensor, I can use this to open my smart trash bin. You guys may have seen this video a few days ago, or actually a couple of days ago at the most, depending on when I upload this video. So if I mount the sensor above my trash bin door and I start walking up to it, the trash bin will open for me. So I'm going to try that automation next. So let's try that now. Okay, so I'm just going to create an automation to open the trash bin when I start walking up to it. Before I continue, I just want to make it clear that this is like a, a stupid automation to be making because obviously the light is going to be changing at different levels throughout the day every day could be different so you don't want your trash bin to be opening when you don't want it to and that's basically what this automation is going to do it's going to be opening at the wrong times of the day but this this video is just showing you what you can do with a smart light sensor so i'll continue doing it but i do not recommend doing this automation if you have a smart trash bin like i do okay so let's carry on so we're just going to change the automation really the light level of it and we're going to change it to 600 lux save enable that okay so when I start walking up to the trash bin it's going to open for me so I'll walk over to the window now, and we'll, let's try it out. And it worked great. But like I said, I don't recommend doing that automation. It's going to be incredibly unreliable. And that's it for another video. So this is a smart light sensor, and that's what you can do with a smart light sensor. Excluding the last automation of course, which I don't recommend because it's going to be incredibly unreliable, but it just gave you guys a Demonstration of how it works what it can do how fast it reacts as you can see it's uh, It's very very sensitive to light levels So it, and it triggers very fast So whatever you're going to be triggering is going to basically be turning on or off instantly as you've just seen in the video as well so as I said, you can get a Wi-Fi version of the sensor as well, and this exactly the same size and everything. Um, this one's obviously the USB version only, so it's going to be plugged into USB power all the time. Or you can go for one like this, which is the um, battery-powered one, which runs on the three AAA batteries. Um, and this this one in particular is Wi-Fi. I'm not too sure if you can get a Zigbee version of this as well, but you probably can. So anyway, guys, that's for that's it for the video. If you like the video, please like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos which are uploaded weekly thanks for watching guys see you in the next video